Where to, dear? I think we should go to the seaside, perhaps for an ice cream. Oh, lovely. On BMW's <laughs> new F900XR. Yeah! Ridiculous. Hi folks, welcome back to the BMW stand here at the NEC. We, uh, we've taken the time to have a look already at BMW's very, very interesting new F900 parallel twin roadster. In addition to that, I guess their sort of bigger brother is the new F900XR. So that's their sort of middleweight touring bike. They, they released a kind of concept variant about 18 months ago called the Nine Cento. And I've got to say, when I saw that bike roll up to a special event, it was gorgeous. Really, yeah. really cool looking thing. I think it had electromagnetic panniers, if I remember correctly. Sadly, they've not translated that to the road bike, but actually the design language, the profile is very, very similar. Um, and this is, for me, again, is a really interesting, exciting bike for this segment. You know, when you think about what's out there, what's available, I'm not sure this has got any direct competitors. Well, this middleweight touring uh, segment is super popular. There's no, oh. there's no doubt. You know, you, 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 you trace the 900s really popular. You trace the 700s are really, yeah. really popular. People love that type of bike. Yeah, they do. Um, and and for good reason as well. They they go really well. Yeah. They, they actually pretty much handle like a naked. Yes. Or, you know. Well, they're not. I mean, they're, they're, you know, traditionally. Well, oh, of course, Multistrada 950. Yes. As well, yes. really great bikes. Yeah. And you know, people are wanting to put a lot of mileage on. I mean, I, I've done I've done quite a few ferry trips actually recently. And and you know what? Half the half, well, not half the dock, but you know, there's quite a few bikes on them, and people are doing a lot more trips. They want something. They need something more comfortable. Yeah. Soft seat, nice riding position, nice screen, good well, engine, but also handling well as well. Because you, you know you're going to travel all the way to an Austria for the for those good roads. Sure, and uh, you know you don't necessarily want um, the, the, the reason a, a I, Honda no. Goldwing, do you? In some in some respects, you've got you know Yamaha have got a lot to be thanked for, I think, because they've kind of driven that market a little bit. But the, yeah. the reality is, you know. The way that manufacturers are looking at the, the model selection and the type of bikes they're producing has changed enormously. You know, what a lot of people want, including myself, is you kind of want a bit of a Swiss Army knife for a bike. You actually want a bike that you could sit on for five hours, but also that if you want to go for a blast, it's agile, it turns well. Yeah. You know, if I, I mean, you're absolutely right. If you're going to get on a ferry and you get, I mean, I went, you know, south of Spain, I don't, I need a screen. I, yeah. block, I like heated grips. I love cruise control. So, um, Chris, Thanks so much for your time. I know we've just spoken very briefly about the, the F800, uh, F800, 900R, and I was sort of fascinated to, to get a sense of how that differs from the new XR. You just, just talk me through how they kind of, you know, how they uh, compare in terms of riding experience. Yeah, it's a funny thing, because yeah, essentially the backbone of the bike is the same. You know, they're based yeah. on the same chassis, the same engine. Surprisingly different feel to the two bikes. You know, the, the, the 900R feels more at the sports bike end of things. It's a real nice flowing through fast bends, but right. In town, this thing feels actually a little easier to handle because you're a bit more sat up, yeah. big wide bars. Yeah. And this is almost a more childish bike. <laughs> it, it really surprised me, this thing. I had so much fun every time I got off it, even comparing it to the S1000 To so its big brother. This thing was a hoot. It was an really? absolute riot to ride. So, 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 so at slow speed, really easy, compliant, M maneuverable, but actually, when you when you when you go out onto the open roads, it's also a really enjoyable bike to ride at the higher speed. Exactly, it does that that thing that that a, a, a sort of sporty road bike should do. It, it makes you feel happy. It makes you feel like you're getting everything out of it. You're making me feel happy talking about it. <laughs> can thanks. you tell I was excited? <laughs> by it? Yeah, it, and that's the thing. When you ride it as hard as you can, you're in the in the video footage. We were riding them hard. And right on the limit, there's plenty of feel, and the bike just right. feels like it's letting you know what's going on. So it's kind of it's reassuring. It you're never kind of intimidated by the riding experience at all. Absolutely not. It, it gave you confidence and just made you go out and yeah, hair around like an idiot. I love it. Chris has just sold me one of these. <laughs> Somebody want to take my deposit? So of course the bike, uh, like the F900R, comes yeah. with the amazing uh, BMW TFT, which is just it, it, the most beautiful dashes that I've seen on a motorbike. It's you know, not, really it's like going to Blackpool Illuminations, isn't it? It is, it is. It is. It's, it it is. It, it, it's a nice welcome, isn't it, as, isn't you, get, it just, as you get on, you know. You, you know it sounds ridiculous, right? You, you kind of, you know, you get on this bike a winter evening and that light's in, oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. like a nice warm I almost fire. feel like I'm in my car. <laughs> yeah, but. But it, it um, is, it's, I mean, jokes aside, it's super crisp, isn't it? Yeah. Really easy to use. Um, 
feature-packed and all that connectivity, again, that's another thing, isn't it, with manufacturers, BMW have really embraced that. You've got, you're able to, to, to download the app to your phone, you can connect to your bike, just makes it just simplifies all the terms. So you can run sat nav. Run your sat nav, run your yeah. phone, run your run your music, you can do all sorts of bits and pieces with it. And, and again, you know, as we were talking about with the, the 800 road, the 900 roads the 900 roadster, most people are gonna buy the TE, the touring edition, because you get so much more for your money. Yeah. And and without banging on about value again, you know, this bike on the road just under 10 4 with all of these toys right that's the, the sport front. version then the the, well, the, the stand, touring the version yes okay sorry the touring yeah. version so standard comes in at 9365 yeah. and this one is 10365 yeah, so, so effectively like for another 1000 quid you get right most pro quick shifter heated grips cruise control the list is very long yeah. so you are getting a massive amount of bike for your money and like i say a, a, a kind of an incredibly usable tool for all types of riding touring going out for a blast everything and that, that, I think, is the key for me. I mean, it's a, diff it's a difficult one. I've kind of, I've come on over here and vacillated wildly. Do I prefer this? Do I prefer that? I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. I think you're a fan, actually, of that screen, Mark, aren't you? I'm a, I, well, I'm a middle-aged It works man. as well. It works well. I love the fact that you just do it's that simple. to lift it up and up and down. I mean, that's great. I mean, we had a KTM that's recently, and you had to, like, get your Allen key out and, <laughs> and unscrew the bolt and then yeah. lift it up. And yeah. even then, it didn't work. You've got to stop for 15 so, minutes. Get your tool back yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah, in the cold. Um, so this is uh, really, really good. Um, I actually prefer the red, you know, being honest, but it comes in three different colorways, isn't it? So it comes in a red, comes in a gray, and I think it comes there's in a black as well. No, there's a gold. Oh, a gold. A, well, I'm not sure exactly what the BMW terminology for that color is, but actually, you kind of think gold and you think, yeah, not so much, but in the flesh, that is a very nice looking motorcycle. Yeah. Um, just, yeah. The other thing that they do quite nicely on this bike, and we didn't mention it in the F900R1, is that they do a really nice uh, exhaust, you know, and, you, and we've talked a bit about exhaust getting bigger <laughs> yeah, and bigger and, and, you know, sort of... Let, let's talk about exhaust, Yeah, we? yeah, so... We're, we're so, not talking about exhaust, so it's quite a nice, favourite topic. It's quite a nice exhaust no, on, easy, on this one. It's got like a, like a slash cut exhaust, yeah. it's, not, it's not enormous. I don't think, honestly, even if I can talk myself, we could live in that one. Yeah, it just isn't quite big enough. Um, interestingly as well, I think we, we, we would be remiss not to mention that these bikes do come in A2 license friendly form. So, it, you know, if you're on A2 license holder, you're an age where you can't, you can't go for your full. These, these can come as an A2, and which is amazing, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. You can have a, this much bike and you could be, I don't know how old you are to be A2 license compliant. It was 20, a long time ago. 21 or something. 20, yeah. yeah. But you've got that option too. Um, so yeah. they really have ticked so many boxes with these bikes and, 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 and again put their best foot forward in what is yes. a very competitive market but you know honestly again at the risk of sounding like a total sycophant I, I honestly can't can't say to you that there is a direct competitor at this price no. that's the thing that surprises me the most is, is how they've managed to position these bikes at the price they have if you think about and you consider that it's BMW yeah so you know everything else uh, and, and there are other brands out there, but it's not going to be as well made as this. No. And everyone that uses a BMW product, whether it's a GS owner or an R9T owner, you know, there the, the never any complaints about the build quality. No. No. Um, you know, and that's why they keep coming back because they are made, well made. Yeah. And you yeah. go on other stuff, and it's all a bit plasticky and stuff. These guys really take care because they're such a big worldwide brand. You know, technically, you should be actually paying a premium for that. But well, this I think is, the reality is that you're not in, in this case. I'm, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't think BMW want this to be a secret. But you know, frankly, I am. I really, really am incredibly surprised at how they position these bikes price-wise. I do think. Dare I say it? They're a bit of a bargain. Yeah. You know, if if you are looking again, if you are looking to upgrade from a, a, a kind of smaller capacity bike, you want to get yourself onto a, a real full size machine, whether it be the Roadster, whether it be the the XR, they are phenomenal value for money. There's no doubt about it. Um, oh, j uh, just very quickly, obviously it being the, the, the touring base bike, the tank is slightly larger. Um, I don't know whether we mentioned the Roadster video, but that's a 13, and this is a 15 litre tank, so range okay. is sensible. Okay. So again, the F900XR is fitted with Brembo brakes, just like the uh, Naked variant. So, so it's going to stop really well, yeah. basically. Sa same sort of setup as the new, the new 900 Roadster. Um, and the tyres are a bit more of a sport orient, uh, sorry, sport touring, touring. orientated. The T30R yeah. from Bridgestone, which yeah. is yeah, just a bit probably longer life um, tyre, basically. Yeah. And uh, one other interesting uh, piece of technical is that this is just eight kilos heavier than 
its naked equivalent, which is very little, frankly, isn't it? It's probably yeah. like a big Christmas dinner. Or the difference between me and you. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like. Please subscribe to the channel. Massive endorsement from me. Incredible value for money. Um, yeah, so come along and check it out as soon as you get the chance. We'll see you in the next one.